so, so then this is actually what temptingly led to the birth of a movement that I strongly disagree with, but a movement that had an answer to that question nonetheless. That was what gave birth to the rise of stakeholder capitalism, right? Mm-hmm. I say this as someone who's a critic, of probably the, the most unsparing critic of stakeholder capitalism in America in the last four years, but I say this to give the best shake to the view, is it says that capitalism was made for moral people. And so we need to reinfuse the morality into capitalism itself to say that when we're allocating dollars – we're taking environmental or social factors into account, not just the fetishization of green pieces of paper, that there's more to the story. I'm, I'm giving as charitable of, and, and you know, true, truly empathetic account as I can. I have a different worldview of how to deal with it, right? My view is let the green pieces of paper be the green pieces of paper, right? That, that's okay if it's just about stuff. But there's a separate sphere of our lives in our body politic, in the civic sphere of our lives or the spiritual sphere of our lives, where that money ought to have no influence whatsoever. That's right. Right. And so I'm one of these people who resists the idea of infusing those moral judgments into how the dollars are allocated, but instead to make sure the allocation of dollars in that sport of capitalism is just one of many spheres maybe even one of many small spheres of a total life well-lived and a society well-functioning. And so part of my objection to stakeholder capitalism is that it wrongfully marries our body politic with our system of allocating goods and services and stuff. When in fact, I don't think we need capitalism and democracy to share the same bed. What I think we actually need is a clean divorce. And both of those are part of what it means to be American. So anyway, to your question, what was happening with these index funds, BlackRock and State Street and Vanguard, what they said is, not only are we going to use your money to buy stocks in the overall stock market, but we're also going to use your money to vote for certain environmental and social agendas that it turns out many people, most people in this country do not agree with. Racial equity audits, we could go down the list, quota systems on boards. And that's commingling a social agenda into capitalism, where you're supposed to your investment dollars are supposed to go to the best investments they could find and vote for the best policies they can to maximize profit. 